Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And I'm Jake. And together, we suggest the stand of JoJo from Memory. That's right. We're back for round two. Um, We had so much fun last time that we're going to take another stab at it. I'm going to be drawing a JoJo character this time, and Julia is going to try her best to draw the stand that uh, corresponds to that JoJo character without any knowledge prior of what it looks like. Uh, it went so well the first time. Yeah. yeah. Caldwell, yeah. How, ma- how many episodes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure have you watched? Me? Yeah. Every one of them. Okay, and Julia, how about you? Uh, I've watched part of the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is a good disparity. Started off with a dog death, and I went, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if that, don't worry. If you if you stick with it, no dogs ever die in the rest of the series. <laughs> Go with me on this. She needs to watch it. No, definitely not a theme. Uh, Jake, I'm I'm chomping. Caldwell, I'm so happy. All right, your character. I really want to see your interpretation of uh, the god of manga himself. The talented 19-year-old artist with the heart of gold and the shirt of barely existing, Rohan Kishibe. (laughs) Hell yes. Oh, Jake, thank you for this gift. (laughs) (laughs) Why is Rohan, first of all, like, why is Rohan such a cool character? Oh, he's the best. He's like such a self-insert, but he like it works. He's like the <laughs> he's the Mary Sue of the JoJo universe. Yeah. He's just extremely good at manga and very confident. And he also just has some outrageous fashion choices. Yeah. No, you're already you're already making sure he's got the weird crown headband thing that no human has ever <laughs> worn. <laughs> this bizarre like headpiece that the fucking Iraqi just was like, yeah, you know, this thing that humans wear. <laughs> You know, this, like, sexy jug headband. <laughs> <laughs> also, just, like, the character of Rohan was, like, such a freaky, like, serial killer villain, just, like, licking spiders and, like, murdering boys. Well, and then just, like, well, that, nah, never mind, he's a friend now. Well, that's that's the whole theme of Diamond is Unbreakable, is Josuke punches these incredibly terrifying villains so hard that they become friends. Yeah, the whole, I mean, honestly, the whole theme of Diamond is Unbreakable is that, like, when you get to know people and you open up to them, friendship heals all wounds is the message there, and it's beautiful. No, 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 my stand, Crazy Diamond, heals all wounds. Yeah, exactly. unless you're unless you're an actual serial killer, then, uh, yeah. you know, then fuck you. But if you just, if you just seem like one... <laughs> If you just display all the signs and intentions of a Yeah, if you try to kill me but fail, then we can still be friends. If you locked my friend in a basement and tried to steal his life essence, (laughs) like, you know what? We're still cool. So, yeah, do you want to explain to Julia a little bit about Rohan while I draw? So, at one point in uh, part four, Uh uh, they introduce the character of Rohan Kishibe, a uh, young manga artist who has the most popular manga in the entire world. And uh, he lives alone in a house, and he has separate, completely from his stand powers, just supernatural art abilities. Like, there's an entire sequence where he uh, fills the blacks on his page Uh by just filling a pen with ink and splashing it directly into a perfect spot (laughs) to fill the black areas. Okay. I think it's my favorite anime moment is when, like, one of the characters is watching him draw and he inks an entire page without sketching it first. And yeah. like, they treat it like somebody has just punched the, the moon and destroyed yeah. it. <laughs> he isn't even erasing the pencil lines. <laughs> so I'm going to give myself a challenge uh-huh. just to try and capture the, uh, the bizarre adventure element of this. Um, I'm going to just draw a random swiggle and then that's the pose I have to do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's your spine line. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Good. there it is. Yep. Okay. There you go. There you go. He's <laughs> taken on a Smeagol. <laughs> I feel like I feel like he's definitely made that pose before. Yeah. yeah. You're just mm-hmm. gonna cock the head a little bit. Alright, I think maybe if I do like the hand here, he's got mm-hmm. one hand kind of going like this. Is he about to draw something? Oh yeah, he should be. Maybe I'll, I'll do the I want this to be the hand that's just doing the kind of the standard JoJo pose of like the yeah. weird like the John Cena, which like yeah. holy shit. <laughs> JoJo predicted everything. John Cena just stole from JoJo. Has anyone thought of, has anyone called him out on this bullshit? No, uh, John Cena famously hates anime and thinks it's for degenerates. (laughs) (laughs) That's, that's a cover. That's, he, that sounds too much like a cover. (laughs) 
<laughs> he's trying to he's trying to muddy the trail. Uh-huh. John Cena is just a JoJo character that came to life. <laughs> I mean, no, uh no way, no way would uh, the creator of JoJo give his character jorts. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, it's just the invisible baby that grew up to be John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's an invisible baby. There is an invisible baby. What? They it's that's maybe like a different show would like try and figure out what's going on with the invisible baby, but uh-huh. JoJo's just like Nah, guy. Nah, there's an invisible baby now. Don't worry about you it. You could say whatever you want in this show, like the invisible baby thing. You could say, like, you could make up whatever you want. It would probably turn into an episode of JoJo yeah. or not, but I would absolutely believe it. That's the glory. <laughs> yeah. That's the power of this. G- and this is, it's trash. It's like <laughs> such beautiful trash. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful so be- trash. It's the amount of, that's what makes it so great is the amount of time and effort and like craft that has gone into making this trash so beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying. Also, uh, in the previous arc, there is also just an evil baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. An How many babies baby are in the like, show? An evil dream baby. Way more babies than you'd think are, are in the show. Like babies, animals with stands. Mm-hmm. I love that animals have stands. Oh, like uh, like Iggy and Pet Shop and Iggy Pet Shop, the gorilla or uh, orangutan. That's strength. Just, yeah, strength. <laughs> What's the gorilla's name? The gorilla has like a dumb name. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, there's a gorilla. There's it's a- an orangutan. I believe it. Is, that- is there also a gorilla? I don't think so. It's, it's definitely an orangutan, right? It's it's one of the great apes. <laughs> It's one of the grape apes. <laughs> oh God! Okay, the the stand is strength. Right. The orangutan's name is forever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, it's, is, is, is that named after like the Beach Boys song? Oh, Must maybe. Be. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? Caldwell, so you're you're not looking at a reference for this. You just. You just have this. You just have him inside you. Yeah. He knows that, like, all the pen nibs, like, his his fashion sense is all just 100% pen nibs. Yeah, yeah it's pen nibs true. and, like, just vests. <laughs> mm-hmm. So many vests. That That's the most unrealistic part of this entire show, is that an artist would have this sense of fashion. <laughs> Like, no, this is a manga artist. He's wearing sweatpants, like, on the reg. Like, don't, don't pretend. Don't pretend, Iraqi. I've seen how you dress. Mm. <laughs> this is how Iraqi wishes he dressed. Yeah. Holy shit, guys. I I love this drawing. Yeah. This is great. I, I don't like to brag about my art, but like I feel like I really crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. I feel like in, in part four, especially, they started adding just kind of like a lot of tchotchkes. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to give them a wallet chain. There we everybody's go. Yeah. Got, everybody's got a piece of flair. Uh-huh. Everybody works at Bennigan's. Yeah. <laughs> now, Julia, you're a comics artist. You're friends with lots of illustrators. Like, how many artists do you know dress like this? Uh, well, you're asking the wrong person because I went to a fashion school and <laughs> oh, yeah. all of the rules are out the window there. You're abs- Are you, wait, are you making, okay, oh, for, a, for a hot second, I thought you were making the wallet chain out of those dumb, like, S's out that you stussies. draw in middle school. <laughs> yeah, it did, it did look like a stussy. It still does kind of look like a stussy. It's stussy, it's stussy-esque, sure. Yeah. Is that what they're called? The stussy-esque, yeah. Huh. Wow. Stussy, stussy? I think stussy. I was a Massimo kid, so we're enemies now. Uh, hey guys, can you take this away from me, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, so so you don't need to look up what he looks like because you nailed it. <laughs> no, let's keep let's keep. I'm moving. curious, but yeah. I can't see it until the end. Yeah. You never told me what the stand name is. Heaven's door. Heaven's door. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this episode. So heaven's door. Should the clue be like fanciful boy? Excuse I, me. I would say the clue is like. Haunted doll that can read your mind. Mm. Haunted doll that turns you into a book. Yeah, there you go. I hate that. That's this. enough, right? <laughs> That's enough to go off of. That's enough of a clue. Doll that can turn you into a book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't God. see what the problem is. I hate the books. <laughs> <laughs> we did God, that. that hey, you know what? We did your little Legend of Zelda video, Julia. <laughs> and now, and now it's people. back to the punishment chamber for you. Did they ever fully explain, like, because when they first introduced him, the power was based on, like, if you saw his art, he could do it. Yeah. But then they kind of switched it so that he could just kind of, like, draw in the air. Mm-hmm. And, like, if you, I don't understand how that works, 
but he just waves his pen around yeah. in like in midair and it still works. I think he like hypnotizes you by waving his pen around, which is what it mm. is. It's like you he just shows you his pen and like sketches in the air and you're just overwhelmed by his potential and his ability. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is a character whose introduction, as we mentioned, is that Jotaro watches him eat a spider. <laughs> He licks it. I don't know if he eats it. I think he, yeah, you're right. He licks a spider, and this is one of Japan's most beloved characters. <laughs> but, like, even after, yeah, his, like, he's definitely supposed to be the creator because, like, he uses him in a lot of, like, extra promo materials. There's mm-hmm. been, like, spin off books. Yeah, there's one where, um, there's one where Rohan goes to the Louvre that you can actually <laughs> buy at the Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weird because it's all you know like pictures of monet and paintings of flowers and then just this crazy young man posing like this on the cover of a book that's sold in the most famous museum in the world yep this is yeah definitely just a young boy is what we got here <laughs> you know i remember like when i was in kindergarten and everybody looked like this <laughs> oh is he supposed to look like a young boy he's like a haunted doll I mean, she got the she got the, the Can I doll start part. over? No, 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 no. Adapt, <laughs> adapt. Also, um, also key to the JoJo's experience is painting yourself into a corner and making it up anyway, and it still turns out good. Yep. Yeah, okay, hundred percent. Also, uh, he does wear a hat. Yeah, I'll give give you that. What kind of hat? Oh, you decide. You decide what kind of hat you think it wears. I like to think that this is what uh, Julia's dolls looked like. I, I, they, yeah. Julia had a, jo- a doll as a child. <laughs> this explains so much, Julia. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> see, I keep taking, because the only thing I know about JoJo is that everyone is like a really good looking man. And yeah. I keep thinking that rule applies to the stands, but I guess not. It, it sometimes does. It sometimes does. I hate this. I hate your vagueness. Mm-hmm. The stands are more like psychic monsters. They're also beautiful in their own way. I mean, sometimes there's a dinosaur. It's true. Sometimes one of them is just a pachycephalosaurus with electric powers, but uh-huh. that's not this one. I mean, sometimes sometimes the stands are just a really radical car or a wall outlet. Or a boat. Or hair. Oh, or hair. yeah, yeah. Or just hair, yeah. If you're a woman, your stand can be hair. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> your stand can be hair or it doesn't even matter if you're too weak and are about to die. I think that Julia is drawing the next evolution of Heaven's Door. Heaven's yeah. Door Requiem. Yeah, yeah. Heaven's Door. <laughs> Heaven's Door Act Three. Yeah. <laughs> After Heaven's Door goes through puberty. Mm-hmm. Which is a fun thing that they introduced in uh, Part Four is that the stands can kind of evolve. Yeah. Which is like, of course they can. This is anime. Like, if your monsters can't grow into bigger, better monsters, then like, what are you doing? Give me your manga <laughs> license. <laughs> Because, yeah, he- Heaven's Door, the original one, just turns you into a book, but Heaven's Door Act 2 mm-hmm. turns you into a sexy book. <laughs> <laughs> turns you into a pile of encyclopedias. <laughs> the you sexiest can... type of book, yeah, an encyclopedia. It turns you into a CD-ROM. Oh, yeah. S- yeah you're, you're still making, like, too much, like, lo- logical sense for JoJo. Like, mm-hmm. the powers and the name and, like, nothing is should be related to each other. Mm-hmm. Like Heaven's Door Part Two, it has to be. It has to be like, oh, my power! I can turn cats into guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having our fight in a feline rescue center. Yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna get out of this one? I decided that I'm not going to think about any of the clues you've given me. <laughs> I think that, that will age you. I'm just gonna draw my heart's desire. Carly, really? Julia, that's all we wanted. That's all we wanted to begin I was, with. I was trying. Currently, this looks like someone you'd see at a steampunk convention. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think you might see Heaven's Door at a steampunk convention. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I mean, honestly, it's it's pretty close, though. Yeah. yeah. This is just what this stand looks like if it grew up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, I think it's just like when it when Rohan's abilities grow even stronger. Because yeah. you know that When he's will. pierced with the arrow yeah, when, a second yeah, time. Yeah, when he gets pierced, when he's trying to hug the man in the picture. What is this about an arrow? <laughs> Pierces him. <laughs> oh, did we talk about the arrow yet, Julia? No. <laughs> oh, we didn't even get into the arrow. What is what? <laughs> That's Sometimes, how you get your stand powers. Yeah. After you, you run get out shot. Of, after you run out of tarot cards, there's just a golden arrow that can shoot you, and if it doesn't kill you, you get a, a stand power. It can. It can kill. Where oh, does this arrow come from? They can yeah, kill well, you. Well, first there's a uh, there's like a, a blonde kid who has it, oh, and my then. God. Uh, 
Chili Pepper takes it. I'm feeling overwhelmed. And then, and then there's a man floating around in a picture frame. An old man. An old man in a Polaroid picture has it. Yeah. Listen, it comes from the East. That's the answer. <laughs> and jo- the answer is always either from space, the Earth, or the East. That is where mm. it comes from. Great. It's like a John Carpenter thing. You just kind of make it up and it comes from somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a little insensitive, but also you're having a good time, so you let it slide. <laughs> Once again, Julia, you're you're conquering the pose. Like you're you're leading with the pose and it's it's serving you well. It's the only thing I'm sure about. <laughs> I've drawn a magician, is what I've drawn. Yeah. 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 Although magician, the magician's a different stand, we should like Oh yeah, that the magician the, the stand with the name magician is a bird. It's a giant fire chicken man. <laughs> a chicken. Like like a buff shirtless chicken man. Yeah. <laughs> Cause everyone knows that in order to be a magician you, you need to have a bird face. Mm-hmm. God, I would love that. I would love if a magician instead of pulling out doves, just pulled out a giant chicken man. Why did why do magicians only use doves? They should use bigger birds. Um <laughs> uh, oh, Albatross. Man. Yeah. Just like an ostrich? Yeah. Or like, I mean, like... The, the, the gross fact about why uh, magicians use doves and rabbits, mm-hmm. I think we've gone into this. It's just, those are the squishiest kinds of animals. <laughs> you can like really pack them into a hat. <laughs> like if you're thinking like there's no way a bird can fit in this Dixie cup, mm-hmm. you haven't seen doves. But I think that that's, I, I think that the magician game currently is stale as hell. But if somebody were to start pulling geese out their pants, somebody would... <laughs> If somebody were to produce some sort of swan from their hat, I would be enraptured. Do you know how many magicians would die attempting to tame a swan? You know what? I think it's worth it to further the art. Because yeah. right now they're resting on their fucking laurels. You know, what What did What did David Bowie say? He said, you know, when you get to that point mm-hmm. where you're comfortable, it means you got to push yourself a little further. Exactly. Nah, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take a stand here. Hey, guys, this is Jake from the Droppy Channel <laughs> letting you guys know that don't fuck with geese. <laughs> geese are fucking, they're violent assholes and they will destroy you. Hey, no, counterpoint. This is Cobalt from the Droppy Show. Uh, make a pact with geese. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, you have a, a goose actual story? actual goose story. <laughs> yeah, for real goose story. Give me hey, a goose this tales. is Julia from the Drowny Channel. Hi, hi, it's is this is this on? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi, it's Julia. Hey, Julia. Um, hi, hi, hello. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Julia. happy to be here. What's your goose story? <laughs> Wait, what's the goose story? <laughs> Well, I went back to drawing this magician man, and I got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> Julia taps on the mic, gets bored, goes back to drawing magician. Um, but if you my... want to hear the goose story, subscribe to Drop <laughs> Premium. <laughs> um, it's not even that good anymore. It's been built up too much. I went to visit. Uh, my grandfather a couple of years ago with my dad mm-hmm. and my dad um I, I think we've established that he's just like a, a scary military like fighty dude a survivalist you might say yeah survivalist he uh lost a fight against a goose while we were <laughs> in france and now my dad refuses to go near them <laughs> What was was it like a fist fight? It um, it was a pay per view event. There's a there's a pond near my grandfather's house, and it like just came at my dad no, and as, chased as him we down the block. established in the previous episode, it was a fencing match. Mm. Yeah. All geese in France do know how to wield uh, rapiers. Yeah. <laughs> my dad donned his um, very like crazy out of the wilderness hair. He pulled out a rose out of his pocket and a rapier. <laughs> and uh, decided to fight this goose. And what? How did the goose win? Um, he fought dirty, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, pecked at my dad a hell of a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cut up his arms. Damn. Jesus. And uh, my dad hid in the house. They do have little micro teeth up in there. They do. Have you ever seen a goose's mouth? It's horrifying. That's, I, uh-huh. Guys. If if you see the goose's mouth, it means it's too late. <laughs> yeah, don't look a gift goose in the mouth. Don't give gooses gifts. Yeah, don't. Yeah, if someone tries to give you a goose as a gift, be like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Turn down all gift geese. That's a, a lesson here. Hey guys, is this um anywhere near the mark? Did this, I? Uh, it's, yeah, it's closer close, than actually. the last one. Yeah. Could you make the tail of his um of his blazer coming out of Rohan's butt though? 
<laughs> uh, I mean, Just I could if that's... Heaven's like... a door! <laughs> 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 my power is I'll turn you into a book, but only if you smell my fart. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like not out of the realm of possibility for JoJo. Yeah. So probable. There's a character that steals your powers every time you lose a game of rock, paper, scissors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I feel like we're we're spoiling some JoJo plot lines, but also, just, it's a journey. It's not a destination, y'all. Go watch. Even if you think you know what's happening, it's just an experience. It's a sensory experience. And here, here this is how the JoJo conversion process happens, because mm-hmm. you hear people try and talk about it and fail miserably, maybe over the course of two entire YouTube videos, <laughs> and... An hour of content, yes. You can't, like, you're just like, what? I can, no, this doesn't, I, this, my mind can't inhabit this space. And only after you start watching it and, like, you get to absorb the dream logic, do you, it's kind of like wrestling. Mm-hmm. Like, the, if you watch a single, like, clip of wrestling, you're like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. But if you watch it for three hours, you're just like, this is my universe now. Could you just, yeah, go... Quit watching us and go indoctrinate yourself with this program. All right. Oh, Julia's looking. looking up Heaven's Door. All right. The, you got the, oh, c- yeah. He's like a literal boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but you drew him uh, as a man, which is even better. You got the top you know, hat? You I got the bow tie? Yeah. Kinda, like, like, like the Charizard I drew in the latest Pokemon episode, mm-hmm. all of the elements are there. They're just wrong. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's, this is what he grows up to be. I really mm-hmm. wish that this was it. Like, you've drawn two stands that I wish existed and probably yep. will at some point. I would totally do, like, a, a short comic if one of you guys designed a JoJo character as if they, like, just entered the show and then <laughs> he brings out a stand and I would design the stand. I would totally do that. We should, yeah, we should get you to draw the coffee mug as a stand. That would be cool. Oh, oh my that God! Would be cool. Yeah. My stand, Hey Macarena, allows you to only drink <laughs> coffee for the rest of your life, as long as I'm holding this keychain. <laughs> what? What? Why? If I can get you to count to five, Mambo Number Five will attack. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fantastic! So good. My oh. stand, Smash Mouth, can kill you within under three <laughs> seconds, but only when you're smiling. Only if you have. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you have your fingers in the shape of an L <laughs> on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, yeah. Guys, this has been uh, Drawfee. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell us what you want us to draw by leaving a comment below. Listen to our podcast, What Should We Draw? We've had both Jake and Julia on in the past. Uh, it's great. You can find it on iTunes and at HeadGum. Watch the Drawfee Snapchat that Julia does amazing work for. <laughs> Oh, and check out Jake's podcast, uh, Wizard and the Bruiser. It's it's yeah. very good and informative. Yeah, and uh, watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, uh, so you can join us in this yeah. madness. <laughs> so if you ever see us in real life, we'll have something to talk about <laughs> for five hours straight. <laughs> yeah, if you if you watch it, just like tweet at me or Nathan at Kali at at Nathan Yaffe and just be like, "Yo, them JoJo's right." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, am I allowed to watch this show, or am yeah. I forbidden from it like Pokemon? No, oh, you no, can watch no. it now. <laughs> for sure watch All right. it. Uh, well, guys, this has been our show. Thank you so much for watching, and we are very, very sorry. Sorry. Sorry.